I had a lump and I said, boy, well, I better go get this checked out. And they uh, sent me for a mammogram and a biopsy. And then after that, uh, it came back uh, that I was cancerous, stage three. I caught it early enough and it, it, was not in, it was not in my lymph nodes yet either, so I was fortunate. But it was invasive. I have cancer in my lytinoids and I have skin cancer. I'm in the four stages and that's it. It's over after that. But um, I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. The Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund helps the clinical research unit um, by providing sort of the backbone funding for us uh, to help support things like our clinical trials database or staffing support that we can't typically find funding for from our direct clinical trial participation. Uh, this sort of funding really allows us then to concentrate our clinical research um, dollars to go directly to obtaining high quality staff or to provide education and other materials to our patients directly. So there is nothing that I do on a day-to-day -day basis clinically that does not involve the either direct use of clinical trials or the downstream effect from clinical trials. So for example, I could never have done a lumpectomy on the patient that I did a lumpectomy on on Wednesday unless a clinical trial hadn't been done in the 70s and 80s that told us that that was safe and an effective way to treat breast cancer. There's no surgery I do currently that hasn't been as a direct result of clinical trials. He approached me with the clinical trials here and um, uh, I knew I could uh, maybe help other people and possibly help myself. She said, would you like to be in this trial? And I thought, well, hey, stage four, that's the end. Okay, so what do I got to lose? So I said, yes, I would. You know, clinical research forms uh, you know, basis for finding any therapeutic option for, um, for cancer. Now, one of the examples of uh, highly curable cancers is actually Hodgkin lymphoma, you know, but the very fact that it is curable now is based, you know, we really do stand upon the shoulders of giants and patients and the, including patients and the researchers who conducted these large randomized controlled trials, you know, because of their efforts, we now have a treatment um, that can be considered as cure. And for any patient I see now uh, with Hodgkin lymphoma, you know, uh, the, op the, the only option really is for cure and that is what we really aim for. At the Cancer Institute, our WVU Cancer Institute, we have a commitment not just to the patients that present in Morgantown, but also the patients that present in our regional sites across the state. Having the ability to open trials at these regional centers gives patients access to clinical trials, which could be chemotherapy regimens, radiation regimens, surgical interventions that they would not have otherwise had if they had presented to their outside facility alone. Many of those clinical trials are part of multidisciplinary care. So there's trials that involve radiation and chemotherapy or radiation and immunotherapy or radiation and surgery. So that's you know me in my hat as a radiation oncologist. Um, as a doctor that treats breast cancer, I'm involved in clinical trials that really find new and better treatments for breast cancer and also help us minimize treatments. Um, there are situations where maybe we've used radiation that we won't need to use radiation and so that's really better for patients in the future. It means everything for my patients. It means everybody, everything for the people of the state. It hopefully means that, that someday I won't have to have something. I mean, none of us are immune to this. You know, I always think about breast cancer because that's what my wheelhouse, but that doesn't mean I won't get colon cancer or something else. I mean, being part of this clinical trials, being part of patient care, um, it means everything. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm at 
WVU Cancer Institute because I have the ability to offer these things to patients. What do I say to Coach Huggins? I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I say thank you for me because I have the access to it. I say thank you for every single patient who has been physically on a trial. And I say thank you for every other patient who has been affected by the downstream understanding of a trial that's been opened. So I'm real pleased with this. I'm very pleased. And I like the idea of helping people. If I can help people, I would like very much to do that. I had a tumor close to the size of an egg and the chemo treatments completely destroyed the tumor so they just removed the chip and some masses there and they also took two lymph nodes out from under my arm and uh, it, they sent that all away and, and it was no sign of cancer in my body. I'm a fighter and a survivor, that's it. I got children and a hot, you know, fiance and, and I want to live. <laughs> I want to live.